Hello everybody, welcome back to programgainpython.com. Here in this video, I am going to show you how to implement linear search algorithm in Python. Okay, I am going to start a new series on this algorithm, searching algorithms, linear search, binary search, and after that sorting algorithms, uh, quick sort, heap sort, merge sort. I am going to start this series. So, I am starting with this first linear search. So, let's get started. So what is this linear search? This is the basic search which searches for an element uh, by checking each and every record in the list. That is how it searches. This is very basic search. So let's get started with this linear search. Before all that, let me wish you a very happy new year as this is the first video in 2018. So I just wanted to wish you a very happy new year. With that said, let's get started into the programming. First, I will initialize an empty list so that uh, uh, I will ask the user to enter the size of the list and also ask the user to enter the elements in the list. So I initialize an empty list. So I will ask the user to enter some uh, size of the list, something like that. I will ask the user to prompt uh, enter size of the list. So after that I need to also cast this to integer. So after entering the size of the list, I need to run a for loop with this uh, size. So I will write a for loop for n in range of this number. What I will do is I need to, so for n in range number, we need to read each of the input, uh, each of the number entered. So I will create this as numbers equal to I will also ask the user enter any number so this will be also cast to integer so after entering the numbers I need to append these numbers to the that list list dot append and we have numbers so I have appended the all the numbers. Uh, so all the numbers which user have entered are into this list. So now we can perform this search operation. Uh, linear search. First basically we will uh, define a boolean variable called found and initially set it to false. So this found boolean variable tells us whether the element is found or not. Initially I will set it to false. So now we will ask the user to enter which number to be found. So I will give this x equal to so that uh, this number will be searched in the list whether it is found or not so enter a number to be searched and now we will write a for loop for i in range of this uh, list length of the list so this is the length of the list uh, for I need to check each and every element in this list with this uh, number so I will um, so I will write if x equal to equal to this uh, list of i so then if this x equal to equal list of i then we can say that a number is found so I will make this found to true and I will also print the element is found at and something like that the element is found at position this position I mean uh, the element which have entered is found at the position we will say and uh, you need to also break the loop so that the loop will break and it will not continue further because we have found the element so after this for if loop and for loop what we'll check is um, uh, if uh, the element is not found in the list we need to also make a condition for that so for that I will write um, if not found actually the found is a boolean variable so not found means if the element is not found we need to just simply print something like uh, the element is not found something like that so I will print it. So I have print something like that. The given n number is not found in the list. So that's it for the program. Let me save this and run. And one more important thing to note is here in this linear search, we need to give all the elements in ascending order. And you can see the 56 and the next number should be greater than this uh, 56. So I will give 87. Enter a number to be searched, I'll give 87 and it shows 87 founded position 1, that is 0 and 1. So, 
I will give some what I will, I will run again and I will give some uh, bigger list. I'll give a list of size 5 and 12, 32, 65, 68, 98. I will give something like 65. You can see 6 is found at position 2. This is 0, this is 0, this is 1, and this is 2. So the it is showing correctly, but uh, as I said, uh, linear search should be performed only on this ascending list, ascending order. So what we can also do is after this list, uh, you can also check whether that list is ascending or order or not, and we can also sort it according to the ascending order and then uh, find the element. But for now, I am just uh, entering all the elements in output as an ascending order. So that's it. That's it for this video. This is how you can uh, find an element using this linear search technique. Yeah. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, give it a like, comment. For every video, there is also a, a blog post in my website, programminginpython.com. And I will also upload the same program in my GitHub. Mm, I will also provide all the links in the description. So please also look into the description. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on programminginpython.com. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.